Okay guys, this is part three for, of our recoil pad jig. We're going to drill and tap this uh, hole here, which we're gonna, is gonna, um, our quarter 20 uh, screw is gonna screw into here and that's gonna attach this right here to our base um, for our recoil pad jig. So for this, you're gonna need your starter drill, obviously to start out a number seven drill, which is the drill size for a quarter 20 tap, okay? So start a drill, number seven drill, and a quarter 20 tap. Now you see this tap right here, this is your plug tap, okay? Because we can't use a starter tap because we're not drilling all the way through. We're gonna use our tap and we're gonna be tapping sort of a blind hole down through here. So we need these threads to get all the way down to the bottom, which is what we have with this tap, okay? So that's what we're gonna do. As you see, I used my tap guide again to line myself up. So now I am in the center of my part, okay? So I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna do my drill, my starter drill, my drill, and my tap. And we'll get this uh, attached to the plate and then we'll mill the slot here on the bottom for the arm, all right? Okay guys, so here it is. Here's my base. It's attached to my foot plate, okay? Um, got my counter bore here on the bottom of the foot plate. It's attached to my base, which I drilled and tapped, all right? So pretty basic of where we're at right now. Um, you saw in the video uh, where I, when I was tapping this, I used my tap guide, okay? You don't have to use this. You can power tap if you feel like you, you want to. It's a good skill to learn how to power tap, okay? Um, but if you do use this, make sure you use your tap guide, okay? Your tap guide is gonna allow you to make sure that you, you're tapping in a straight line, okay? So that's this part of it. I'm gonna move on and cut this slot next, and I'll probably just go ahead and cut all this in here, and, and then no more commentary until I get to the end of it and we get it uh, assembled, all right? So that's where we're at.
Okay guys, so this is the next step that we've got. So you see I've cut my slot where my arm is gonna fit into. Uh, this is the arm where the recoil pad rests on top of is gonna go in the slot right here. So I need to cut a, uh, a pivot point here, a pivot hole, uh, whatever you wanna call it. Um, so this is a quarter inch uh, through hole that I'm gonna do, okay? So I'm gonna cut a quarter inch through hole so that this, my cap screw can fit through there, okay? because my cap screw is obviously gonna go through the arm and this is gonna tighten up the arm in my slot here, which is gonna allow me to set the correct angle for my recoil pad here. So this is what we're doing next right here. We're cutting this part right here to get that in there, okay? So as, again, you can see, I basically, to find the center of my part, I got the width, divided it by two, that's my center point, and on the print, this this we're gonna come down three eighths of an inch, three seventy five down. Okay, so put three seventy five down. I outline my uh, my line on that with my um, uh, my surface plate gauge. Okay, I use my tap guide right here. Now you know you could use anything for this. You could use a starter drill. You know you could use a you know a precision uh, a pointy. You know Alan calls it a pointy thingy. Um, to find this center like this, okay? So what this is about is being able to do this part without having to use a DRO, okay? So as you can see right there, I'm set up, I'm ready to go. I'm gonna drill this, this through hole through here and through here, okay? That's gonna allow this to come through there, all right? And then after that, I'll go over the next step, okay? <laughs> Okay guys, so you can see I've got my through hole there. Okay, so this fits up in there. This is in end mills in the way, but this fits up in there. What I'm gonna do, so the print that I give you guys, someone else did the print. So um, they kind of did it on how they would have made it. Uh, but the print says to drill a through hole here, okay, for this, and then a tap hole here for this to screw into that, okay? Well, the original jig that I copied, the Bob Allen one, has, I don't know if you can see that, has that slot right there, okay? And this nut right there. So that's how I do it. I like to do that little slot in the nut. So when this tightens up, that nut right there, because of that slot, is allowing this to tighten up, okay? And I did it that way because I think the arm gets... Uh, it gets in a more secure position when I tighten this up, okay? However you want to do it. If you want to do the slot, I'm going to cut the slot right now. That's the next thing I'm going to do. If you want to cut the slot, that's fine. Um, if you want to do a through hole and tap that hole so this screws into that and tightens up against that, that's fine too, okay? Um, but this is how I'm going to do it, all right? So I'm going to cut this little slot right here, a little groove right here for the nut to fit into so that when I tighten it up, it's tightened up against that right there. Okay? All right. Okay guys, so I wanted to show you what what basically this is, that slot right there, okay? That's what I milled, that's what was in the last video. Okay, and what that does is it allows this nut to come up in here and my cap screw to come up here and it's gonna thread into that nut, okay? So it threads into the nut, um, it tightens that up. See the screw, the, the nut's not moving, but it's tightening up, okay? And that's going to tighten up against the arm, which is going to allow you to set that angle and be able to grind your recoil pad. So there's different ways that you can do that. Okay, you can just 
do a through hole here for your for your quarter inch 20 uh, 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 bolt here, um, cap screw here, um, and then tap this side as well, quarter, you know, quarter 20 tap, and tap that and have it screw in there as well if you wanted to do that. Okay, that's fine as well. That's what it calls for on the print. But um, the original one that I, I copied this from, the Bob Allen one, it had this slot right here, and the nut was like that right there. So either way is fine. Whatever you decide to do, that's just how I did it, okay? So um, this is basically ready to be put together, okay? So this is the arm right here that um, I'm, that I did. I already drilled and, and uh, I tapped it because, you know, I'm trying to keep these videos uh, short. Um, so all this is on the print, okay? So this is basically the same thing, okay? This is 3 8 to 375 bar stock. You're gonna find the center of that. Take your 3 8 divide by two. That's your center. Mark your line on that. Mark your, your, your hash marks, your halfway marks down here for, your, for where you're gonna drill and tap this, okay? And drill and tap it. When we get to this point right here, we're gonna be in school, okay? So I can be able, I can help you guys a lot more with this, okay? Um, on how to do this. This is my tap that I, have for doing that it allows me to tap all the way through and I will show you guys how to do that okay uh, in a demo um, what I'm worried about is that this weekend is a storm supposed to be coming in okay so storm supposed to be coming in and um, I might not be see you guys on Monday so that's two weeks basically that I missed you guys so um, the print is gonna, I'm gonna get the print to you guys. I'm gonna get it somehow, some way. I'm trying to get a, a scan. I should be able to get that, a, a, you know, the link in these videos, okay? Do not wait to do this, okay? Do not wait to do this. Um, get the print and start roughing it out. I have, with all of this right here, if I, with, with all of this right here, I think I'm, I'm two and a half hours total working in this. So you guys should be, you know, three and a half, four hours maybe to do all this. So you can get it done, okay? But if you wait to do it in all one day, it's gonna show in the quality of work, okay? So this is basically all your parts right here. This is everything right here, okay? So I'm gonna assemble this and I'll show you what I'm talking about when we get back of, 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 of how it works, okay? Okay, guys, so here is the jig, okay? So this is a, uh, I've set this up. You can see it's set at an angle. And what you're doing is you're just tightening this bolt right there, um, this cap screw right here, and that helps set your angle, okay? So you get your recoil pad on here and you set this up against the stock and it helps set your heel and your toe angles, okay, on your recoil pad. So this one here is set up same way, it's the same thing. You loosen the cap screw, arm goes back and forth, you get your recoil pad set up on there, you find your angle, and we'll go over all the stuff later in the semester. And you tighten this up and that sets your arm right there so that you're able to uh, grind this on the grinder and you have the correct toe and heel angle, okay? So we'll get into all that stuff with the um, um, uh, doing recoil pads later. This is, I'm not gonna get a video on this because you guys, you know, by the time, you know, we, we get back in school, you'll be able to, you know, I can do another demo on this, but this is basically the same thing, okay? We're just finding the center of this piece and I keep repeating that because it's um, I'm maybe put it on a final question or something like that uh, but it's just that's basic machining is to be able to find the center of a part okay and the easiest way especially when we're just doing basic stuff like this is whatever the width of that is divide by two and that's your center so that's all I did with this I found the width of 375 three quarter in, uh, or uh, three eighths of an inch okay um, did my line uh, marked out my, my, my holes there, drilled all of them, tapped all of them, kept everything in, in you know, I did, kept everything in a straight line. And you can see, you know, by doing that, you know, I'm able to get these, everything is no problem. Okay. Uh, I don't have any of these screws here, these cap screws that I use on this one, um, to kind of show you all that. But later when I make my, re when I do a recall pad installation, I'll use this jig that I made. Um, here, and both, I made both of these, but I use this jig that I made here to, to grind this recoil pad so you can see how, that, how it works. So, very valuable. I'm a, like I've said repeatedly, I'm a big jig person because they help, they you know, make our job easier. So, um, this is your machine project for my class of the semester is to make these. Um, I'm gonna have the print um, for it. Um, uh, it's gonna be, I'm probably gonna send it an announcement, an attachment, and then I'll put it in files, okay? So, um, and then 
you guys don't, I, I keep repeating, don't wait to do this, okay? So here you go. There's your recall pad jig uh, made here in my shop. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the videos. Um, if you have any questions, you can email me, um, text me. You guys have my all my information. Um, and I'll be I'll try and answer them. So hopefully the storm doesn't blow us out this weekend um, and the school's open on Monday. But if it's not, um, watch these videos. I pretty much did step by step on how to do this. Um, you guys are all capable of making this jig, doing this machine work, and we will uh, we'll we'll get we'll get to it. Uh, next videos I'm going to do is probably on stock stripping and stock inletting. Um, but for right now, this should keep you busy. Okay. All right, guys.